Here's how to add a back button on your iPhone. Now, if you just want a button that you can tap and it'll immediately go back on a web page, a browser, a game, any of those different things, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's hop into your settings here and we'll scroll down and tap on accessibility. Now on here, you can see midway down is touch. We will go in there and we're gonna use assistive touch for this. So go to assistive touch and toggle that on. Now this brings up the button, but we need to now configure it to basically go back. Now there are a few different options. You can have single tap here and you can choose different things that will essentially basically go back depending on what you want. So if you wanted to go back to the home screen, you can tap on that and it will immediately bring you back to the home screen. So I can tap on it and it'll bring me back to the home screen. Now there are other ones as well. If you scroll down, you can, where is it? There's one where you can basically switch between different apps, app switcher here. So I can tap on that and then tap on it and it will give me the ability to switch between different apps. And that essentially can go back to another app. Now, if you really wanted to just go back on a website and you don't necessarily want to swipe your finger from the left all the way to the right or a game or anything like that, you can always go back here and create a new gesture. So tap on that. And then here, basically we're just gonna swipe from the left all the way to the right, hit stop and save. And now we can name this as back. Now all you have to do is basically add that into your menu so that you can basically just tap it and it will automatically perform that back gesture where it swipes to the right and you'll go back on any websites or anything like that. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.